everyone. Welcome to the online portion of CA 110 Public Speaking. Today I'm going to provide you with some library instruction. So this is going to be how you can use the Marks Library to do research for your public speaking class, but also how you can begin to do research for your other classes as well. Some of you might have already had English 102 when you come to the library and you receive some basic instruction. If not, that's something you can look forward to and you'll receive a little bit more information um, when you get to your English Composition 2 class. My name is Stephanie Ard and I am the Social Sciences Librarian, so that means I'm the point of contact for all of the communication courses. If at any point while you're preparing for your public speaking class, working on doing research for a speech, feel free to get in touch with me. I'll put my contact information in the LibGuide so that you'll have access to it. My information is also available on the library website. So today I'm going to talk to you about a few things that are going to be useful as you do research for your speeches. First, we're going to talk about how you can use the general web, that is a search engine like Google, to do meaningful research. And what I mean by that is research that gets you good information. It's easy to search Google, but a lot of what you find is not going to be very reliable. So I have prepared for you a short video that explains how to evaluate those sources. Take a few minutes to watch the video, and then at the end there are a series of questions. These questions ask you to think about a website that you might use for your own paper. Once you've answered these questions, then you can move on to the second video. The second video talks about the difference between scholarly and popular sources. Popular sources are the kinds of things that you, are more, that you are more likely to find on Google. These are things like newspaper articles, magazine articles, the kinds of things that are written for a general audience. But when you're doing academic research, you usually want to have more scholarly sources. That is, you want stuff that is written by experts, people who know what they're talking about. And you want these articles to be targeted to people who are interested in reading about this particular subject, not just a general audience. So this video talks about the difference between scholarly and popular sources. At the end of this video, there is a single very easy question. Once you answer that question, then you can move on to the third video. In the third video, I'll be back again. And this, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use two resources through the Marks Library to find those scholarly sources. The first of those is called SouthCAT. SouthCAT is used to find books in our collection. Many of these books are actually in the library, so you have to come in and pull them off the shelf to check them out, but an awful lot of them are also available online as ebooks. I'll show you how to find them and how to use them. The second thing I'm going to show you is a database called Academic Search Complete. This is a database that searches a wide variety of subjects. So just about anything you'll be writing about in one of your speeches will have information in Academic Search Complete. If you have any questions about anything that I cover today, please feel free to contact me. You can come by the library. My office is on the second floor, or you can send me an email. My email address is s-e-v-e-r-s at southalabama.edu. All right, so let's get started. You can go into the site created for you and click on that first video. And I'll see you back very shortly.